Good morning. I apologize for the technical difficulties this morning. It turns out it was more user error than anything else. But I have um, reset the system, so hopefully everything will be up and running. Um, but this morning, instead of going back and redoing morning prayer, I thought we would do the daily devotion for individuals and families for in the morning. That is found on page 137 in the Book of Common Prayer. And from Psalm 51, open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. As they went out to Jericho, a great crowd followed Jesus. And behold, two men sitting by the roadside, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out, Have mercy on us, son of David. The, cloud, the crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent, but they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. Jesus stopped and called them, saying, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. And Jesus in pity touched their eyes, and immediately they received their sight and followed him. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third, third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave those prayer requests in the comment section below. For our parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Leah, Rob, Ben, Eleanor, Samuel, Matthew, Roberta, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Mary and Scott, Kate, Loretta, Leonard, May, Bridget, Katie and Doug and their children, Bryce, Meredith and her family, Bill, Brooke, George, Nicholas, Jordan, Gladys, Nancy, and Jean. For those we name with our lips or in our, in our hearts, for those we will name later in the comment section, For those whom have asked our prayers, but we cannot recall at this time. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, 
and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farm and fields, city streets and factories that put them in danger with little pay. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them, Lord Christ, from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Once again, I apologize for the technical difficulties this morning. Thank you to all who came back to watch. Um, please join me again this evening at 7 p.m. for evening prayer. Please know that there are still spaces for our in-person worship this Sunday. Please click on the link in the Sign Up Genius. Um, that was, it's on our Facebook page. It's also in the email that was sent out throughout our parish. Um, God's peace be with you this day. Stay safe and stay healthy. Amen.